Today, we're going to do a science experiment called Sink or Float. And Bryce is here and he's going to help me out. So, Bryce, um, what are we going to do? What do we have in this bowl? Water. We have water and in there. We are going to put all this stuff in the water to see if it sinks or floats. I think that's enough. All right, you think it's full enough? All right. Okay, what are we going to start with? This. What rocket. is that? A rocket. A rocket. All right, go ahead and put it in the water. It floats. Hmm, so your foam rocket floats. That means it stays on top of the water. Yes. Let's see. <gasps> Cool. All right. Now we're gonna put the glasses in. You're gonna put the glasses in? Yep. All right, go ahead. It sinks. They sink. Oh. All right, what are you gonna try next? It's gonna sink. What was that that just sank? You said it right from the get-go, it was gonna sink. What was that? It sunk. What is it? What is that thing? A screwdriver. A screwdriver. How did you know that it was gonna sink? They're heavy. They're heavy. All right, let's take these three items out. Take those out, and then we'll go with our next couple items. My shirt, my sweatshirt. Go ahead, what are you putting in now? A button. A button. It sinks. It sinks right down to the bottom. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I didn't know they sink. Just, it's really, like, not heavy. Yeah. It's light, but it sinks to the bottom. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what about this one? Do you think that'll sink or float? Sink. <gasps> what happened? It sunk. What was it? Penny. A penny sank right to the bottom. Uh huh. Huh. Wave. That worked. <laughs> Even if you just put it up on the side, it slides right down. Not really. Hmm. All right. What item do you want to try next? This. What is that? A football. A football. Put it in there. See what happens. It sunk. Sunk. Hmm. Well, yeah, because, well, it's really big, and look. Yeah. It just sunk. But it was light, so I thought maybe it would stay at the top. No, it's not light. It, Did we have light. anything that floated yet? Did anything stay at the top? Or did everything sink so far? Everything but the rocket. 
Oh, the rocket did float. You're right. All right, let's try these other items. What's that? Do you know what that's called? Uh-oh, that's all right. Do you know what that's called? A thing for, it's a toy for the bathtub. Yeah, it's that called a loofah. That you can wash your face with. Yeah. So, yeah. Does it sink or float? It sunk, and it made purple water. Well, I think it's just reflecting off of the bowl that made it purple. Mm. <laughs> okay. Kind of oh, squeeze yeah. it out. Now what are we going to try? This. The cook what the heck? <laughs> what? The cookie cutter isn't shaped like a star. It's not shaped like a star. You're right. <laughs> I got splashed. Ooh, did that sink or float? It sunk. It sunk right to the bottom, didn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready to try the last two? Look at this. These are the same, right? No. They're not. Why aren't they the same? One's filled. One's empty. So this what's going to happen to the empty one? Okay. What's going to happen to the full one? It's going to not float. You think it's going to sink? Yeah. Hold on. Let go of it. Let's see. Did it sink or float? It's kind of floating, but it sunk. Yeah. Part of it sunk, but part of it's floating. Yeah. Huh. Why did the empty one float, but the full one sinks? Well, this one's heavy, that one's not. Hmm. I could drink it. <laughs> you could. Now Bryce is going to try different buttons of different shapes and sizes. He has a whole jar of buttons yep. that he's going to try. Did you try them? And you found some that floated? Watch. Whoa, they're floating. Why are they floating? Well, they don't, they have holes in them. Only, what, look, they don't have holes there. Oh, they don't have holes in the top? So you think that these other buttons that have holes in the top, they sink because they have holes in them? Do you yeah. think that's why? Hmm. I don't know why, but that's pretty cool. So this is obviously a pretty simple um, lesson that you can teach, and it keeps them pretty well entertained. All you need is a big bucket of water. I used a big, the biggest mixing bowl in my mixing bowl set. <laughs> and um, some other supplies that are waterproof or can dry pretty easily. Um, I kind of talked to Bryce about what is and isn't allowed to go in the water before we started and, and he's happy kind of guessing what's gonna happen first and then going ahead and seeing if he's right, whether it sinks or it floats. So I, I hope heck? this is an activity that you can do with your kids at home.